Rosie the Dragon and Charlie Make Waves by Lauren H. Kirstein, illustrated by Nate Bragg. Rosie the Dragon and Charlie Make Waves. I am Charlie. This is Rosie. Rosie? Rosie? Don't stick out your tongue, just say hi. Jeesh, sorry about that. I didn't plan to adopt a dragon, but Rosie found me irresistible. I think she liked my skunk hat. And now we're best friends. We do everything together. Today we're headed to the pool. Rosie wants to practice swimming. Our last pool outing didn't go that well, so I stayed up all night preparing. Today will be terrific. Before we leave, Rosie searches for swim gear. Don't worry, she'll choose some eventually. Then we apply sunblock everywhere. Rosie, wait, I'm not finished. Last, we will fill our bag with supplies. I like preparing for all pool possibilities. I even pack gummy skunks for after swimming. Rosie loves them, but they cause blue teeth and shudder wicked dragon breath. Last week when she ate them at the bowling alley, they sparked a few uh, problems. Okay, Rosie, let's go to the pool. Finally, we arrive at the pool. Rosie races towards the water. Wait, this time let's review the rules before you leap in. Rules. Rule number one, no drinking pool water is not a beverage. Rule number two, no running. We don't want another cracked cement catastrophe. Rule number three, no diving or belly flops. Safety comes first. Okay, Rosie, let's play. She snaps on her cap and plops into the water. Sharing isn't easy for a dragon, even with friends. So I keep extra toys handy. Rosie, that's not yours. Her hair is attached. Those are fingers, not food. Did I mention Rosie's ferocious appetite? Maybe we need a snack break. I asked Rosie to eat her night-shaped cookies in private in case she bites off the head. It's disturbing. Yikes. Rosie, let's eat some cool snacks instead. I'm ready. Dig in. Uh-oh. Rosie is eyeing the gummy skunks. Rosie, no. Remember, those are an after-swim snack. I hide them and tug, I mean, lead Rosie away. No more snacks. Let's blow bubbles. Rosie loves bubbles. The bigger, the better. But sometimes her bubbles grow a little too big. So today, we're practicing in the baby pool. Rosie, just lean your face into the water. I put on a raincoat and offer umbrellas to small children. But they are no match for Rosie's colossal bubbles. Rosie, let's practice flutter kicks in the big pool now. Rosie dashes into the water and hangs onto the wall. She flutters, flutters, flutters. Parents clutch children, swimmers scream, lifeguards leap. Okay, Rosie, that's enough. Sorry, everyone. I steer Rosie away and help her calm down. 
it's okay. Let's try a shoulder ride. Dragon breath can be a bit fiery. So I clip on Rosie's nose plug. Rosie kicks, kicks. Gently, Rosie kicks. The ride is bumpy, but we're making progress. We whirl around and around and around, picking up a few friends along the way. 30 laps later, I decide we're ready for a challenge. Rosie, let's swim to the wall. Rosie, come back. Come on, Rosie, you can do it. Yeah, Rosie. Okay, Rosie, extend your arms. One, two, three, and go. Rosie, dragon paddles, pants, and sh shoots sparks across the pool. Put your face in the water, blow bubbles, not sparks, much better. We rest for a second. You know what, Rosie? I think you're ready to swim by yourself. Her nostrils flare. Wait, don't run away. I quickly reassure her with a few last tips. Flames flicker sometimes. You'll find your fire again. Kick gently and you'll avoid another tidal wave. I know the lifeguards look concerned. They just want to help. You've got this, Rosie. Rosie winks. Ready, Rosie? She counts. One, two, three, and plunges in. Hooray! Rosie is swimming with friends. I snap pictures for our photo. Uh, sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh no! Rosie, did you sneak gummy skunks? Rosie flashes a toothy grin. The hairs in my nostrils wilt. Gas, dash, crash. Oh no! Forget rule number one. Guzzle all the pool water now. Gulp, gulp, gargle. Phew. What a day. While they refill the pool and fix toppled tables and chairs, Rosie and I snuggle to read books with friends. Rosie can't wait to learn how to read. Gulp. It's okay, Rosie. We'll learn together.